Mankind has had some struggles throughout all of history, from the famine of the potatoes to the destruction of the Berlin Wall, from walking on land to walking on the moon. We could overcome all challenges. However, one that no one has faced, and I was once again called upon, to play a game and beat it whilst the challenge is put in place. Some may ask, what's the challenge this time? And to that I say, Fallout 4. That was my challenge, and it became a somewhat enjoyable game that I can play multiple times to being my least favorite Fallout game. Why? Because this run was meant to be an easy joke, but ended up taking so much of my time that it is with my final breath I present you one of the hardest feats of mankind. Can you beat Fallout 4? The rules to this run are probably the simplest that can be shared. I must complete Fallout 4 from the beginning to the end, or at least the destruction of the Institute. Nothing else. It may sound simple enough, but it actually kept me up for nights. I could be doing a normal test and Fallout would come to haunt me. To finally get rid of this curse, I decided to use the help of mods. They weren't that big, they decided guns, backpacks, armor, items, and god mode. Why add guns you may ask? Well because the guns have the same impact as nerf guns, and break just as easy. They really pushed the gun modification system, so now all the base guns feel as satisfying as a wet towel. Quite ironic for a game that forces you to shoot your way out of most situations. Although credit where credit's due, the modifications can be a fun aspect of the game. However, this is counteracted by the fact that every gun you get you have to wait to modify it for it to be fun. So you're probably wondering, what about the unique weapons? Well, that's a good question because the chances of getting a unique gun that is actually good are very slim. So I shall be using a modded gun. With everything in place, we begin. We open our eyes and get to create my character. I choose a default mill, not the default one. I actually want some variety here. I choose my stats and then my name. With it being my third Fallout video as well as my first playthrough as men, I decided to go full circle and name him Fallout 4. Perfect name for the torture I will place upon the wasteland, just like how Fallout 4 tortured me. I am then asked if I would like to start the game normally or skip the whole fault part. I choose to skip it because I couldn't be bothered to do the whole intro thing. I go in the refrigerator, see my wife become no more, go back to sleep, wake up, open the pod bay doors to see my wife, steal back my wedding ring, then run down the hall to the vault door, get the pit boy, open the door, and walk out. I reach the surface and ask if I would like a story behind Mr. Four. I choose for him to be a mercenary for about a year. I spawn in Diamond City, go back to the vault, then a storage shed, get a gun and a neat coat, then walk to Lexington to help out the Minutemen, kill the Deathclaw, leave the power armor, then go back to Diamond City, meet the girl, help her find Nick the Synth, found Nick in a vault with the wannabe 1920s gangsters, kill them, then their leader Post Malone, run out of the vault and talk to Nick, he helps me out at his office, we break into Kellogg's house, I find his gamer room, grab one of his cigars, show dog meat, track down Kellogg, kill him, take his brain bits, tell Nick, then agree to meet him at the memory den. I travel to the one place with the ghoul mayor, go to the memory den, look at Kellogg's memory, learn about the super mutant who is the fallout version of Professor Holt, talk to the doctor, go to the radiation place, he's a smart super mutant, learn about a courier and how to find one, track it down with a frame rate of something that doesn't have a great frame rate. I kill a courser after it didn't understand that I placed an order for two large calzones with my name being fuck you. And it's hostages! Then the synth the courser was after, because no witnesses. Grab the courser chip, go back to the mutant man, and I am told to get it analyzed. Go back to the memory den, speak to the doctor, told to find the railroad, find the railroad, and turn their secret hideout blindly, shoot at them, and kill them all. Analyze it myself, go back to the mutant, builds the plan for a teleporter, then I need to find a faction who can help me with building said teleporter. Now this part is probably worse for me, because at the moment in the game, the only two factions are the Minutemen and the Brotherhood, and with the Minutemen you have to do a bunch of crap with them that's boring. So I went with the mistake of siding with the Minutemen. I think it would only take me about two or three missions before I'm actually sided with them. But no! I had to do so many of those settlement missions before I could even be called a Minutemen. I pushed through it though, got sided with them, built the teleporter, went to the institute, found my son, killed my son, then some robots, then ran out the institute. I told Preston, then was told that I needed to do more settlement missions! At this point, I was just done with the game. I thought I couldn't handle it, but I needed to complete it for the sake of mankind, as well as being on the Hall of Fame of the bravest people in history, next to Caitlyn Jenner, Kevin Spacey, and Jared Fogel. I did his stupid settlement missions, got told to get the castle back from the crabs, got the castle back from the crabs, fixed it up, talked to this old hag who thought she could be the general of the Minutemen, broke into the captain's secret bunker, found a dead body of the previous captain, stole his stuff, then opened a door that needed to be opened for some reason. I then set up an artillery and machine guns, then defended the castle from the synth army. I single 
single-handedly defeated them all. Got the final mission, went to the Institute through a sewer, brought the Minutemen through, killed every living and robot soul in that building that was armed, and if they weren't, then a gun was surely planted on their body. Sent out a warning to the innocent people in the building that weren't bad, saw my son, went to his room, opened some doors, went to the reactor core, placed a bomb, teleported out, met my fake son, told him to piss off and die in the explosion. Then, the game crashed. That was my breaking point. I was about seconds away from being the first person in the world to beat Fallout 4, but I just couldn't do it. I have to admit defeat this one time, which is a downer way to end this run, but I have hoped that one day, some soul who is braver than I am will beat this game, just like I almost did. But if you want a happier ending, then you can watch my previous Fallout video as well as a podcast that I did. Also, join my Discord server. Wow! Links all down in the description below. Like the video. Damn, please.